Uh, Canada's sort of um, been a childhood dream for me basically since I was a kid. It's sort of the one place that I always really wanted to go. It's been my dream location and obviously once I sort of got into photography and became more of an established photographer, Canada has just been on the, on the hit list right from the start. It's just got so much to offer a landscape photographer in a, in a short area without having to travel hours. There's just so much epic scenery for landscape photographers to see here. By participating in this tour, you're going to experience mountains, lakes, lots of trees, all seasons of weather, snow, rain, really cloudy skies, lots of great weather. Anybody who is really interested in landscape photography in Canada will benefit greatly from this tour. This is the first time I've ever actually visited Canada. I, I love the landscapes, how it changes from just flat prairie land to towering mountains and you get into the heart of the Rockies, it's covered with ice and glaciers. The weather can change, snap of fingers. There are natural lakes almost everywhere you look, rivers, glacier lakes, that blue color. Um, you can shoot more intimate landscapes if you're using a telephoto lens or you can shoot wide and get the towering mountains. Uh, I've loved every bit of it, um, just how much variety you, can, you have with landscape photography. I think having a local as a guide is really important. You know, you can visit a country six, seven, eight, ten times and you're still not going to get the knowledge that a local person's got. So having the knowledge of a local guide and in particular a, a, a landscape photographer who's, who's visited all these locations many times, different times of the year in different conditions, you just can't beat um, the knowledge of having a local person on board. I love being a guide on this tour. I love meeting all the new people, all the relationships that I develop with them. I especially love showing them the places that I find on my own that no one really goes to. And I love seeing the amazement on their faces when they see the big mountains and blue lakes. It's been a great experience and I think we've put on a great tour for these people. Oh look, you know, it's a beautiful country, um, very pretty, there's, there's heaps to see, uh, the mountains are spectacular and the lakes are, uh, yeah, they're gorgeous. So yeah, Canada is, is, is a great place to come for photography. Brett and Sarah had done their homework, they have found places to visit each day that were interesting and they tried to find places out of the way, something obscure sometimes so that uh, there weren't so many tourists around. So yeah, it was, it, was, it was quite well planned. I chose to do the photography tours here in Canada with Brett and Sarah because I'm interested in landscape photography. I wanted to learn more about it. I feel like I wouldn't have been able to learn as much as I could by just coming by myself. Uh, I wanted to be with a group because it could be slightly dangerous if you're out here by yourself, especially driving around in the middle of the night. Large animals that want to eat me, so that, that's one of the reasons I came here, and I, I like the length of this tour specifically, um, how you're, I'll be here for a while. I'd like to think the guys have really enjoyed the tour. I think they've definitely enjoyed the scenery. You know, there's been plenty of times when, when they've been really gobsmacked by the scenery that's in front of them. And I think, uh, you know, looking at the content that the guys have captured, like on the backs of their cameras, there's been some really, really high quality uh, images taken. That's one thing that I really do enjoy about, uh, about leading workshops is really watching people grow as a photographer. Um, I really enjoy that side of it and if you can sort of have some input into helping people improve their photography. Um, this trip in particular I've, I've definitely noticed it. Um, two of the photographers in particular I've, I've really noticed their images improve significantly. Um, but they can definitely expect to, to improve their photography and that's a big part of what we do. We're, we're really keen to work on that with them. I think I've learned a lot about what to look for sort of in a composition, whether it's kind of the foreground to background. Um, also some editing with focus stacking, 50% gray, light painting, um, how they'd use the Orton effect with the blending Gaussian blur and blending modes. And I'm really excited to get home to edit all these photos using these new techniques. Yeah, 
yeah, I would recommend this tour for sure. It's, uh, it's been good fun and um, almost an adventure. So it's good. Uh, this is definitely a tour I would recommend coming up here to Canada with Rhett. Um, you see a lot, you do a lot, lots of long days. Um, it is cold, so you just gotta prepare for that. But it is worth it because it's something if you come from a warmer environment, it's not something you get to see back home. And that, that's one of the big reasons I, I've also enjoyed coming up here. I don't, I don't get to see the scenery back home where it's fall colors, snowy mountains, and all that good stuff. Thank you.